Hey, John Thorburn here. This is Keeping the Print Quality High with Canon Image Press and PrismaSync Color Print Server. Let's get started. Here we take a look at spot colors and two typical ways spot color specifications can cause trouble in print. A big challenge is when spot color inputs fail to produce matching output. Let's take a look at logo usage guidelines. The target color is PMS 295. The alternate color recipes are CMYK 157040 and RGB 04598. Now here are the rules. The logo can appear only in PMS 295 or its CMYK or RGB equivalent. Here is the test file. Pantone 295C 100% 295. CMYK 157040 157040 RGB 1738 RGB 4598 divided by the factor 2.55 equals 17 and 38 which will be rounded up to 18 and 38 This is called normalizing the numbers Double click adjust image Drag it down into position, turn some colors off, eyedropper, 95, 100, nothing matches. Color mappings, add group, my spot color group. Targeting 295C. OK. Highlight the group. Add a color mapping. We'll do CMYK first. 100, 57, 0, 40. The tolerance setting lets us decide how specific or exact a range of change we want to see. We enter the large value 9 to let the system show us the acceptable range. Then we enter the number we want to use. 295C, OK. Add another color mapping, RGB, numeric and percentage. Numeric, 255. Percentage, 100. Let's do that 17.6. Ah, not in range. We have to round that one up to 18. 38. All right, range of three, 295C, OK. There it is, double click. Print quality, edit, scroll down. No color mapping, my spot color group. OK, OK, OK. It's re-ripping now. Double click, adjust image, one, two. Everything looks good, 144, 144, 144, it works. Now we look at spot color tints. There's the solid, there's the 50%, and there's the 5. Here's the file in Prisma Sync. Here's Adjust Image, double click, Eyedropper Tool. There are the recipes, all the way down. Spot Colors, 295C, Filter, 295C, Edit, Add a Value, G7 Uncoded, 100. We're going to say 0, 100, 0. The old color was blue, the new color will be green. We will use bright green to clearly illustrate the changes that are possible and how they can be previewed on screen before printing them. Spot color tints. We see the new color now shows green. It's been adjusted. 
Edit, G7 uncoded, add a new value. The combination is already used. But this time, we're going to go down to the 50% tint. And at the 50%, we're going to say, go back to blue. Here's the old, there's the new. Double click, we see it here, we can zoom in. We can look at the blend. We can get the values, green, blue, blue. It's been adjusted. Hit reset. It's not adjusted. Hit edit. Add CMYK values. No special values. Back to normal. Back to normal. Thanks for joining us. See you next time.